White Boy Radio, back at you with another one. Listen, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Just a quick one-on-one -on -one with Jimbo from The Stand. Uh, I wanted to bring him in because uh, I've been seeing a lot of smear campaign on the dirty streets of YouTube. And I wanted to ha have him come with no distractions and kind of let it, it, uh, let it out speak cleared up and speak about the, the doxing situation and, and, and stuff that's been happening to him. I wanted to do this live for everybody, but uh, the thing about that is I, I try to keep things on the channel um, moving and I try to surprise you guys with guests when I can. And I do have something in the works. I don't go live that often. I wish I could do more, um, but the next live I had a guest that you all know as well. So it's not a favorite thing or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, um, you got to keep your word. And I gave my word to this other person. So um, let me know how this goes if you want to see more of these. Um, and, uh, again, if you know somebody that may be going through these shenanigans and they need just somebody to let them let it out, uh, you know the email. It's in the description. My social is at White Boy Radio everywhere. Uh, let's get into it. I wish there was All something right. about the glare. Oh, yeah. What's up, people? It's White Boy Radio. We're doing a little something different on here. I got uh, Jimbo on from the stand. A lot of subs have been telling me to check him out uh, between him and Ernie. Um, and I have been checking Jimbo out uh, from afar. Uh, besides, maybe you see... I jumped on the panel when he had Breezy on there. I, I do hop in a lot of people's lives, sometimes just to watch. But what I've been seeing with him and hearing uh, with with the coward and others is really crazy shenanigans uh, with family, with um, just dirty, dirty stuff, uh, rumors, all types of things. So I wanted to have him on just to let him voice his side. Uh, People, there's always two sides to every story, and uh, you have to consider the source. What's up, Jimbo? How's it going, buddy? I'm glad to be here. Glad, glad you're giving me a chance to uh, respond without interruption. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I apologize to the subs for not this not being alive, but I have something planned for Elf on Friday, and you guys know I don't go live all the time, so we have to fit it in. But yeah, man, I saw what I saw the stuff happening. Um, you know, just the other day, I believe you were telling me something with the license plate blows my mind. Uh, you know, so I just want to give you a chance to talk. But I guess uh, his main thing I see that he tr he tries to paint on you is this marriage that you had uh, where where you this is a long time ago when you were a teenager, correct? Yep. Seventeen. So go ahead and tell the people the. What happened with that? All right. Well, when I was 17 years old, I mean, the, 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 you know, I'll expound on it, but when I was 17 years old, I married a 12 year old, um, 32 years ago. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit and bash her mom or anybody else for how that came about or anything. Her mom's not here to, to defend herself. She's in the ground. Um, and even though I don't care much for her, didn't care much for her, I'm not going to dog her once, you know, that she's gone and can't defend herself. But either way, you know, the fact of it is, you know, it was a legal marriage in the state of Kentucky with parent signatures that allowed two minors to get married. Is that and, called, uh, what was the word for that? Uh, Emancipate. Uh, uh, emancipation to, or yeah, the, I don't, I'm not sure how that plays into it, but, um, yeah, you, once you're married, you are considered a legal adult. Um, oh, so, oh, okay. Okay. So a man, emancipation is something different. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. It's, it's, it kind of, you know, I guess it, you know, getting married kind of emancipates a minor, but uh, right. yeah, it's, different. it's a different thing. But okay. yeah. You know, the, the parents signed and, uh, you know, we got married. Uh, absolutely didn't work out. We were, you know, just kids. And um, so, you know, she she chose to leave and she did. And here we are 32 years later and I haven't, you know, had much contact with her at all. Um, 
there was a couple prank phone calls that she made two years after I was married again. Um, but, and those, you know, don't even matter anymore. Like, um, right. but you know, uh, you got BK, um, and there's a lot of different words I could use to describe that man, but, um, he wants to tell this awful story of how, um, you know, like, like he acts like I'm my age now marrying a 12 year old. I mean, I was a 17 year old boy. Um, you know, her parents, her parents told you that she was a different age. They did. And she actually even drove to my house a couple of times. So I had no reason to doubt it. And you right. know, this, this other guy, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to give him the acknowledgement of saying his name came into one of my, or a panel I was on and, and questioned me about that. Like, how did you not know? I'm like, well, did you card every girl you dated when you were 16 years old, 17 years old? Right. Well, his response was he didn't date at 17 years old. Okay. And well, you know, I'll ask you, white boy, did you ask for a, a driver's yeah. license from your girlfriend 17 years old? No, no, I didn't. If you uh, drove to your house, you would assume she was at least old enough to have a driver's license. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I I just wanted to ask that because it's like I, I see that's his main thing, um, but I know a lot of shit he's done to Ernie. Um, well, I probably don't, to be honest with you. Now that I'm talking, now that I have you here, I know he's done like, and I don't know if he's done this to you. I know he's called police on him multiple times, correct? He has. The okay the. The, the 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 time that Ernie got uh, um, tased the, this this last time, um, it was was did he make a phone call on that? Um, I'm not sure if he did or not. To be honest with you, there were okay. there was there were a bunch of phone calls made, and they were all bragging about making phone calls. Um, Ernie so, was yeah. in a paranoid state, you know, and and you know his doctors diagnosed him with that and um ernie actually called the police and thought the people who were driving up next to him yelling at him were you know threatening him that's that's the way he felt he felt threatened so he called the police i thought uh, i thought i heard that he he was behind calling the police i i think i think what i what i'm i misunderstood i think he's probably trying to take credit bk of, of getting him tased um that's yes. probably what it is you know what yeah. i mean um but um i know that you went to the courthouse you you know ernie long time you're a good friend that's a lifelong friend 20 plus years right yeah we met around the year 2000 somewhere in there you know it's hard you as you get older yeah I, ha I have probably i can count on my one hand the friends i still have that i know for 20 plus years still you, you know that's what that's that's good friendship right there. So no one really can tell you about Ernie better than what you know. But I know you went to the courthouse for him. And uh, what was the deal with the license plates? So they they followed us to the courthouse. And, and, and you know, it's another narrative where they say, well, they didn't know there was any children in the car. But if you right. follow us from Hardee's, and you're in the and you're in the restaurant where we're at filming me sitting next to my daughter then you know our children are with us so you can't claim you didn't know there were children in the car when you filmed our license plate and snapshot our license plate and then google it and put out the vin number for everybody and you know how it is like you got um Sorry, I'm getting that. But you've got, you know, thousands of subscribers. Um, it, it's a dangerous situation when you start posting out these things. They're on this road. This is their license plate number. This is the vehicle they're in. And we've got children in the vehicles. Um, and then you start looking up VIN numbers. You start finding where people live. And you're talking about a whole nother level of trying to get somebody hurt. That's just not yeah. okay. No, I absolutely agree with you, man. I absolutely agree with you. Um, you know, this guy is a coward. I, I, I've been um, speaking on this man for uh, some time now. Um, 
you know, part of bringing you on here is be, part of bringing you on is important because um, I, I'm sure you can relate with this. But when I uh, first started to even talk about this guy, I have emails from people who are scared to do what you're doing. They 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 won't come on the internet because of the things that he's done. Uh, I know I know that he's literally um, when it comes to true crime cases and what have you. There's one case in particular that he literally tortured this grandmother who lost her grandson and. Uh, even even speculation to he took pictures of the body, put them on the dark web for money. Yep. But this, this grandmother had to go through professional um, professional therapy, thousands of dollars. She's not right. She's paranoid because of at a grieving time, she's the one that lost the grandson. At a exactly. grieving time, he played the same shit that you're speaking about. Uh, I, I don't I don't know if the exact thing with the VIN numbers or what have you, but the whole doc the the, the, the massive doxing thing, not just getting somebody's name and, and 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 doing a video or something, but really like the real in depth thing on it to someone who's grieving. Uh, yeah. You know that's one story. I have so many emails from people, um, but that's why I wanted to have you on because for people to uh, that are in the community that could actually. Well, they don't have the emails, but I know people know the stories. Uh, you probably get a lot of emails too. I can only imagine, um, right? Similar things. A bunch, yeah. And I'm also pretty familiar. Uh, recently, I've become familiar with the case you're talking about. Okay. He, he villainized the yes. grandma and then the family. Absolutely. Uh, it yeah. was just terrible the way he did them, and, and still does them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't know too much about that. Um, my, myself and then I, I learned and learned and learned and uh and it was uh almost stomach turning man um so i just wanted you know but that that's the thing like people are people are scared to share share what has happened because they are still doing dealing with the trauma of some of the stuff that he's done um you know it's uh it, it's insane um you you told me something I, I, you told me something here with um he mentioned something about you and a kid at, at a long time ago and and it's no it, this it, the kid is now grown up and caught wind of what he did and actually left a comment you want to say that one yeah it was you know it's basically my ex my ex wife's firstborn child um you know I didn't even know she had children um, and um, because, you know, like I said, 32 years ago, we haven't really spoken since um, and we don't live in the same town. We don't live in, you know, near each other anymore. So there's no, you know, ex and there was no children between us. So there's no reason for us to stay in touch. Um, right. Well, yeah, he, he found this child um, and, you know, got his age off Facebook, which is Facebook's, you know, old. And, you know, he was a child when he made the Facebook. And you know how children will put in a different age so they can get their Facebook approved. So they right. can listen. And, yeah. But uh, so he goes and, and tells people, I'm this kid's father. And I've never been in his life. And his mother was nine years old when she gave birth to me. Ridiculous. So this kid actually went and posted on BK's video. This is me. This is the real me. Jimbo is not my father. My mother doesn't do social media. Please take down this video out of respect to my family. This is disrespectful to me, my wife, whose picture he also shared, and my own father, who you're claiming, you know, is not my father. And he was, he said, the boy even said, I'm not even mad about it. I just feel disrespected. Please take this down. It's still up. Of course. It's, up. Uh, it, it's insane. Uh, you know, you would think somebody going and take the, take the measures and the deaths to, to go look and search hours for, for this name uh, of this person, 
spend all that time in research and then get it and then do what he did, you, you would think that he would in turn take five minutes to read the comment because I guarantee in that same comment section there he's either commented back to people or hit the heart meaning he's read the comments. Yeah. So he yeah. saw the comment. He, he, he just didn't want to acknowledge it. Um, which is, uh, that says a lot for itself, man. Uh, that says a lot for itself. Um, yeah. you know, well, you know, how people screenshot and send it to you. I, I had it sent to me. So, you know, it was sent to him. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> so someone else caught it. Gotcha. Yeah. The screenshot, yeah. uh, the subs see it all. And, and, and yeah. they're quick to tell you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the supporters. 